most impressive mega projects in Ghana. Ghana is a country in West Africa. This country's infrastructural status has grown progressively over the years, which has contributed to a huge amount of economic growth and development in several aspects. Over the years, Ghana has seen a renewed focus by the government and the private sector on infrastructure projects such as RIA estates, road expansion projects, among others. Today, African Reloaded educates you on the 10 most impressive mega projects in Ghana. Sit back and enjoy. Ten, Signature Accra. We all know that Accra is the capital city of Ghana and this beautiful signature building is located in Accra. This property is located in a prime location of Accra. This luxury has a unique, stylish design which appears appealing to the eyes. The Micheletti Group, known for their outstanding work, gave this building their magic touch and it is today admired by all. This project took off in January and according to the plans for this building, the building is home to 2,009 apartments, and the property price ranges from $85,000 to $350,000 you know. When I spoke of luxury, I was not joking because this building defined luxury all the way. Among others, facilities like a swimming pool, restaurants, a bailey room, and a garden are features of this property. 9. Pokewis Interchange Accra this $95 million project is the first in Africa. It is funded by the African Development Bank and the government of Ghana. This interchange, Pokewes is a road project which is expected to cut across several states in Ghana and erase any form of traffic in Ghana. 8. Ghana National Cathedral This holy sanctuary of God was established in Accra, the capital city. This cathedral was built to have a 5,000-seat capacity, and it has many chapels, a rehearsal center for the choir, a music hall, and others. With all this, we get to see why this project cost a fortune of $100 million. The building was designed by the British Ghanaian architect, David, who was the very person who designed the National Museum, which contains African-American history and culture. This project took off in 2020, and we should expect a conclusion in a long time. 7. Oksubai Lamprey Interchange This project will be a big relief to the citizens of Ghana. Ghana's president, Nana Akufo Addo, and his administration proposed the idea, which is expected to cost $135 million. After the idea was accepted by many people, even the Spanish investors, Ghana received assistance from the Spanish credit facilities in the UK. The first phase of this road will consist of a two-rail interchange with a storm beneath the road. The road will lead from the market to the central business district of Accra. Meanwhile, the second phase will involve the widening of roads in three links carry ways, which will be used by buses. 6. Kumesi International Airport This airport underwent an expansion which cost 300 million. This project was started by the former Ghana president in 2018. The project was backed up with the reason being to promote tourism, and their point of interest was specific regions. In the past, this transport medium has been operating and could carry out 20 flights a day. Now that this expansion has taken place and has covered a kilometer of 2.3 from an initial 1.9 kilometers, it has increased its capacity to accommodate .7037 and 800 aircraft, as well as handle 1 million passengers. Also, the expansion came alongside the construction of two extra shopping mall buildings, restaurants, and car parks. The airport is said to be completed this year, making this airport the second international airport in Ghana. 5. Petronia City Takarati This city is a very vibrant city in Ghana and has a very friendly and welcoming environment. Due to this, the city has been chosen to serve Ghana. The modifications the city is about to get will make it serve as a boost to the Ghana economy. All this will be possible because of her mineral resources in the western region of the nation. The city version is to make her the West Africa Business Corps and promote services across oil, gas, mining, and financial cooperation. This city will create relationships among Apex International and allow their penetration into the city. This project was introduced in 2018 
and its full aim is to provide the first fully integrated business hub for West Africa's oil, gas, and mining industry. Four, Marine Drive. This is a 1.2 billion public-private partnership project, which cuts across the coastline of Ghana. The Marine Drive will consist of a business district, a bustling environment, a 15-floor office complex, a tourist resort, a parking park, hotels, playing grounds, and a beach. This multi-billion dollar project will not only provide employment for Ghana, but will also provide an enviable platform for the rest of the world. Three, Project Accra SkyTrain. This SkyTrain will be the first in Africa. In order to get this project off the ground, Ghana's president met with the Risky Train Consortium and made a deal to allow them to construct the SkyTrain, which will allow the nation to upgrade and advance its railway systems and will contribute immensely to solving the traffic problems in Accra. This SkyTrain will have the capacity to accommodate over 380,000 people at once, plus the estimated price is 1.2 billion. Two, Ghana's railway development and expansion. This multi-billion project aims at improving transport and development. This railway will connect all the major cities and major resource areas within the country. This railway covers a kilometer and 1,394 acres of land. This project is expected to be finished before 2023. The Ghana president has awarded contracts and negotiations are ongoing for new contracts for other sections of the rail. The 300 kilometers, which is the biggest, will kick off soon, whereas the 575 kilometers have been awarded to the Coastal Railway Network. 1. Ghana's Petroleum Project Since the discovery of oil and gas, Ghana's government has been working tirelessly to ensure that the country fully benefits from the blessing. A lot of work has been done in the past, but has been the government's main focus. The hub is expected to take off soon. The aim is to meet the demand of the West African subregions, and hopefully, the entire continent. The government has given approval for the establishment of this petroleum in the Western region. It should be noted that this hub will accommodate a refinery to process crude oil into various petroleum products. This improvement does not only bring development to the country, but also creates jobs for citizens. The hub is to cover an area of about 20,000 square meters. This is a lot of space to serve employment. That is what we had on today's edition. For more videos like this, subscribe to this African Reloaded channel. Do have a blessed day.